Hey there! Hi. Welcome to a new video, new week, uh, and we're finally we're underway. We're not going to say we're going for big travels. You just said it. No, we're not. I didn't say we're going on big travels. So we're finally underway. We've just left your mum and dad's because <laughs> we're not going to tempt fate. So we're going for a nice, gentle drive, and who knows where we might be by the twenty-second on the ferry. Um, so. Uh, this is now, um, we're going to head off, we're in Liverpool still, we've just filled up some water, filled up some diesel, filled up some food. Um, what are we doing next? We need to go and get a wade. Going to get the van wade, just to be 100% certain. Um, and then we're going to head off down to Banbury, hopefully, by Oxford. And from Banbury we're going to head down to near Folkestone. Uh, Dog's health certificate needs picking up on a Saturday morning. It's Thursday today, and then the ferry is on Monday. So, um, if you're ready, if you've got everything packed, let's go and let's have some fun. Well, we're at our first park up on this journey in Bista near Oxford. It's a pub car. Where's the pub? Behind them trees somewhere. It's a pub car park. I mean, living the dream, you know, <laughs> parked for free and a pub car park. We don't have to have a drink, but it would be rude not to. So, if you can hear the noise in the background, Issa's singing away. Uh, so, um, obviously we're gonna have to take the dog for a walk now, and we're gonna have a drink to thank the owners. What's the name of the pub, Dari? The Checkers. The Checkers yeah. in, what's well, near Bister, isn't it? I think it's probably West Bister, yeah, near Bister. Something on the green. Something on the green. The pub's called The Checkers. It's quite a nice, it's actually a really look, nice looking pub. Uh, just been inside to um, check it's okay to park. And I mean, there's three TVRs on the car park. So it's probably quite a nice area. Um, there's the pub, really very nice. So uh, we're gonna have a walk, have a drink, and we'll speak to you all soon. Of course, we all know that the weather knows when you're opening the door to get out. So, that's a little bit of rain to uh, to welcome us to uh, Oxfordshire. Got the war game going on over there, match game, whatever it is. That's what the locals do. And there she is, over there. Here we are, back in the motorhome after the morning walk with the dog. Washing up's done, breakfast done for the kids. Our breakfast is coming up. We've got a rock, little rock star down here. Look at the pans we've got. The handle comes off. They're really good, aren't they? And then they can go in the oven. Yeah, good storage as well. Yeah, it's really good storage. I wonder what the cat, cat wailing noise is. She's, uh, she's not even making words up, she's making a whatever up. And there's James, Nintendo, schoolwork soon, and uh, dogs found a place. So we did leave um, Mr. Couldn't remember where we stayed then. And we were going to go and have a little wander around Oxford. And we did try to park up, but there was lots and lots of height restrictions there. They're in the car parks. And um, we, didn't really, we couldn't really see any kind of on-street parking. So what we're going to do when we've got a bit more time is head back into Oxford another time, another, on another journey and, and park the car outside. Go on the road to home. Probably buy a train station and get the train in. So that we're not worried about parking and we're not thinking about the um, congestion charges that they've got there. So we'll do Oxford another time. But at the moment we're on the M40 and we're heading down to Folkestone. We've just been unstopped and had some food. Stretched our legs a little bit. And we're about two hours away from Folkestone, I think it was saying on the sat nav. Two, three for the motorhome. 
Scottish pulled off to them, so it's handy. And it is very, oh, and he's done it again. Honestly, you should know what you stop at distances when you're in a lorry, surely. Anyway, so we're on the M40, we're coming down towards London now, so it's getting quite busy. And we think we'll be in Folkestone at some point this afternoon. But ready in time to go and get the dog's health certificate in the morning and then um, we will be heading off to Dover. We've got a couple of days around Kent so we'll do a few little sightseeing things there and then off for the ferry on Monday. In sunny Folkestone, there's two motorhomes there with the old bird behind. Um, and check this place out, have a look at this. It's an old World War II site. Uh, so there's a tank, there's two helpers, and there's um, a jeep. So check this out behind it. Check this out now. The front of an aeroplane being made into living accommodation. How cool is that? And that's not the end of it. I'll show you some more in a minute. Look at this. This is where the guns used to be. And I'm pretty sure they're probably very big guns. Look at that turntable there. This is where the guns used to be. Facing out to sea for when the Germans were coming over in World War II. And this is where they were trying take them down and stop them entering uh, our airspace. Stairs. Massive. A seat. There's all Behind the gun uh, stations are, step down. You want to help you down hand? That's it. Right, right. Be careful down the steps in. Up. Up. Wait, wait, wait. So, this is where they would all be. <laughs> Second World War. I'm sure they would have been used for. Take your rest. Calm down. Right, and I can where we come out to. Yeah. I'm out home. This is the best snippery. This is the best snippery. Distance there, uh, just along there, that's France. We're there on Monday. You see McDonald's? <laughs> okay. Okay, World War II, fantastic experience and he's just fucking McDonald's. Good morning everybody. Ah, fantastic night's sleep last night. Waking up to the sun and a view of France. Excellent. So we're out this morning walking the dog around the site uh, with Isa and she's already been climbing on the tank while the tank was moving. Hope she went on the tank. Uh, so we're gonna have some good footage for you today of the doing some kind of event here to excavate uh, some of the, the uh, got, I think it's gun two and gun three area of World War II guns. So there's lots of uh, Marines gonna be here, the naffy wagons gonna be here, and fellas just found a rabbit, come here. Um, so, and then there's a bonfire tonight. <laughs> All right, dog. <laughs> and there's a bonfire tonight. We're gonna have some fun. I'm just going to control this dog and I'll see you soon. 
Okay, so there we got an original 1939 Bowman anti-aircraft gun. And we got the uh, the lights that used to kind of shine up into the sky to try and uh, to try and find the German planes. And like I said, getting closer. Table settle. Naffy wagon is underway with his cooking. Isn't that all cool? Well, we're off to get the uh, the dog's health certificate now from Folkestone. And rather than going down the main road, I thought we'd go through the forest alongside the main road. And uh, wow, check that review. It's amazing. Here we are, Abbey Well Vets. Okay. Road motorhomes, another one up behind the van, all getting their dog's health certificates. So, uh, they can travel to the EU. Okay, so dog certificate all done. Just had a quick walk around Folkestone. Um, I'll tell you what, surprising. It's really nice. It's really nice. Uh, all right, a town centre is like any other town centre in the seaside resort, you know, especially down here. But the harbour and the kind of the old town part is this beautiful kind of street called, what's it called? The uh, Creative Quarter. Um, all different art shops, uh, proper kind of genuine, independent yeah, art stores and really nice. I mean, the harbour as well, there. Yeah. It's actually really nice down. I mean, obviously, a sunny day. It's not that warm, but a sunny day helps, which is really nice. We're on some sand. That might be Folkestone, but it's sand. Ah! See, Mum's up there, darling. Ooh. He's just very happy and excited. Are you happy and excited? Yeah. If anybody's thinking of walking to Folkestone from Capital Battery, I'll leave a taxi number in the description for your walk back. And it's beautiful, but well, you know, you're basically walking up the White Cliffs of Dover or next to them. Uh, so it's a great walk. Well, all we can say to that is, again. cheers. Back in the park off, check out the kids. I mean, Leslie. So when you tell people about home and school and everything, obviously one of the big questions is, how are the kids going to mingle? How are they going to get on with other kids? Well, there's Issa, there's a new friend. There's James, there's a new friend. Kids, they just get on with kids. They just get involved. So you never have to worry about your kids, you know, getting involved because that's what kids do. They just get involved and talk to each other. Hi there, fun's not over. Hello. I'm going for a ride in the tank. Dad, look. Of course, next to the park up is um, Battle of Britain. Memorial area, and here are all the names of the people that lost their lives in the battle, just in the Battle of Britain alone. That's crazy. Right, we've got some planes just over there, Spitfires, and uh, yeah, I think the German Messerschmitt is it that's uh, crashed there. Down here we've got the memorial to the squadrons. So all the different squadrons. Here the hell is actually I we can't see it on this phone. So there are the white cliffs of Dover that the pilots would have seen on the way home. It's actually what the Germans used to use as well as navigation. Behind us, sorry about the wind. There's gun three, so facing straight out to France uh, for the Atlantic Wall of the Germans that they built to a new attack. Of course, we're seeing it looks beautiful down here, as they say. So. so, there's a bit of history for you.
absolutely fantastic uh, park up and uh, was it t tomorrow I'm not sure where we're going tomorrow actually uh, but Monday we're going to be on the ferry boat that channel over there to France so we're back in the motorhome and coffee is Yes, we're having hot chocolate. Coffees, teas, hot chocolate being done. Sorry. And we're going to we're test... having the hot chocolate! Yeah. And we're going to test a couple of things out. The videos so far have been done Move off the trusted cream. iPhone. <laughs> and we bought... Move ice cream. No, we're not. <laughs> and we bought, a while ago, we just haven't had the time, one of these little things. Um, so, it's been in the motorhome for, like three or four weeks so now so we're going to get this test this out and uh see see what happens on the next lot of videos after what we're drinking coffee hot chocolate yeah good morning everybody uh so we're all packed up ready to go it's sunday we've got a few motorhome jobs to do well we've done actually toilet top the water up empty the gray waste all that kind of stuff and um, now we're going to a last minute rush for the stuff we need for Europe, like the UK badges and everything mm -hmm. like that, which we were going to do ages ago, but with the most home being in the garage and not really then being... We were going to get to yeah, we weren't buying stuff if, if we weren't going to be needing it. Uh, so we're off to do that kind of stuff, a bit of shopping. Obviously we can't buy dairy or meat because we can't take that into the EU from the UK. Uh, so just get as much stuff as we can, find somewhere to park up tonight. Um, and we'll see you in the morning when we're ready for the ferry and the journey to France. France. Bon okay. Au revoir. Okay, so we're here at Dover Ferry and uh, do, Port of Dover rather. And our ferry's not due until tomorrow, but we are we're really ready now to get going over to Europe. So with chances, we're going to give it a chat, we'll give it a go, and see if we can get onto an earlier ferry, like as in almost 24 hours earlier. We're not really sure if we're in the right place or what. So let's see how we go. Okay, so we're through passport control. Um, we haven't found our way to the, to the check-in for the ferry. We didn't even know if we're in the right place. Fella, wondering what's going on. Um, so we're just going to drive around and see if we can find where we need to be. And if not, we've just got our passport stamped for nothing. Ferry's check-in desk, so we're just going to have a little go over to there and see if we can get onto a ferry today. Just, just to say, we, we did try and call. Yeah, them. we haven't just I've heard. Tried, yeah, I've tried to change it online, just wouldn't let me. I've tried to call them, but it's Sunday, so you know, of course, they don't work even though there's ferries. And uh, so, you know, we have tried. So we're going to go and plead. <laughs> you know, when we get there. Yeah, so you can get on this, this afternoon. What time is the ferry? No idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, okay. So yeah, we're just going to give it a whirl and see what happens. If not, then it's like we're staying here for the night and... Yeah, we'll... Uh, we'll let you know what Dover you know Port's like. Yeah, we'll let you know what it's like to stop over at the um, Port of Dover for the night. Otherwise, hopefully we'll see you en France. <laughs> In France, that's not even right. Guess what? what? 45 pound and they're going to put us on the next ferry. Oh, sorry. In half an hour. What? <laughs> Wait, what? Lisa, we're going on the ferry now. Oh, okay. Yeah. 174. I don't even know if I'm going to ferry. Yeah, we're going on the right front of the ferry. Right then, okay, so. Okay. Now it needs to go on there. Oh. On the, on the, on the, okay. Right, yeah, so, surprise, surprise. Yeah. Okay. The kids are too, like, the kids are so observant. They didn't even know we were in the ferry port. They didn't even go through oh, passport control. I didn't, I didn't, uh, nothing. I didn't know. I was playing FIFA and watching you talk. Okay, so, yeah, we're on the next ferry in um, 30, 35 minutes. Yeah. One. 
One seven four. So okay. Happy um, days. <laughs> that was Leave left rose. So we're going to yeah, we're going to get on the ferry this evening. Otherwise, we've just been sit, sitting around over, really waiting for tomorrow to come and you know come to the week to that. So off we go. We shall see you on the ferry. Feeling a bit seasick. Oh dear. which is near Dunkirk, I think it's called Grand Fort Philippe uh, and it's an air and look at that, it's quite popular and the beach is just around the corner so we're going to go to the beach so get your trunks packed and your swimming costume packed let's go hello again I'm back at the motorhome that was a very windy walk down by the beach uh, so we've had tea well, you can see we've got the beer out um, we're not sponsored by any particular beer brands, but we're happy to be sponsored by any particular beer brands. Budweiser, if, like if you're... Budweiser, Madri, um, Heineken, all the local beers, you know. <laughs> yeah, so, no, seriously, any beer brand we're happy to be sponsored by. Uh, kids are in the back anyway. Um, it's half past eight here on a Sunday evening, so half seven in the UK. Um, no, it's not. Isn't it? Oh, yeah, it is. How, how, how dare you? Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> so, yeah, it's, you know, it's a surprise day today for us being in uh, in France, which is brilliant. Um, so, we're just looking on uh, YouTube at the moment and just some just different ideas of what to do uh, over the next couple of days. We're at this air at the moment. It's like a car park, I suppose, but specifically for motorhomes and camper vans. And it's free. 72 hours, you can stay on the edge of the village. I mean, you know, Europe have got it so right with these things. So we're going to spend probably... We only plan on spending, plan on spending one night, but now we know it's free for three days. We're going to spend two or three days here and really kind of plan the next three days. 
um because we don't do planning very far ahead um so that's what we're going to do have a look at a few youtube videos there's quite a few youtube um people we like watching uh, so we'll watch some of their stuff and see what's going to happen over the next few days uh, so we'll see you in the morning and we'll let you know what's going on the pebbles good morning everybody uh welcome to our first wake up in france a really nice night actually but i have got a complaint for the french government which i'll be putting in writing later it rained last night a bit nobody told us about rain in france we just thought it was sunshine every day so a bit of a complaint going in there wasn't too bad only for about 15 minutes um, so today, at the moment, we've got Leslie and James are in the uh, motor. Me pulled by the dog there, sorry. Leslie and James are in the motorhome. James is doing um, a history IGCSE assignment, which is kind of a, I suppose, a mini exam to see how he's doing with his stages of, uh, of his learning. And Leslie's doing a personal training session with somebody. Um, and there's Issa, all pink and purpled up, earmuffs on. It's not actually that cold, but yeah, there you go. So, me and Lisa are going to go for a walk down the beach, let them get on with their stuff. We've got the dog, here she is, Bella. Bella. Yeah, paying attention. Um, so, uh, we're going to go for a walk down the beach and uh, we'll get back later. And then we're going to see what the plan is for, well, for the next few days. Okay, so this area, um, what's it called? Grand Fort, Grand Fort Philippe, right next to uh, Dunkirk not far from the Belgian border so it was obviously a major part uh, in World War II okay so lots of these around I'm not sure whether they're Hold on, Lisa. okay go on then I'm not sure what they are whether they're um, kind of bomb shelters or just with the guns they look like they're probably bomb shelters uh, keep going keep going Yeah, very dark in there. Um, well, we're going through there again. <laughs> It'll be spooky to say the least. Um, so, yeah, all one along this area here. It's just, I've just never apartments on here. There's lots of things all the way around here. Um, very spooky, but very interesting uh, to, to understand more. Here's one of them. Can't get out to the others because it's across marshland. But you can quite clearly see their, their kind of gun fragments where they would have looked out and uh, protected, protected what they've taken. Yeah, so you can see Ryan out there. There and just there, and all over the place actually. I can't get to them, I don't think, we'll have a try. But they look like um, kind of bunker gun turrets. Um, just over there is the sea. So I think this is actually probably part of the German Atlantic Wall for the defences of France by the Germans after they'd uh, occupied it. All right, so we found a path down to it. It's really surprising, actually. They've turned these in. The whole area now is a nature reserve area. And they've turned these into kind of little viewing points. Go on, Danny. There you go. So you come out. Come around and watch, watch the nature. Isn't this beautiful? The dog is desperate to get into the water. She thinks she's seen something. By a little, I don't know, the measures or something like that, but she thinks she's seen something and she wants to get to it. Can I help the dog? Yeah. That's some fantastic walk around here as well. Paths everywhere. Actual hikers and dog walkers, uh, heaven really. Lots of big open field areas behind, uh, behind these trees little kind of exits off the path to go into them. Really amazing. Obviously it helps with the sun's out as usual. It's uh, absolutely beautiful. Come on, 
I'm coming. All right, so that was a, a lovely walk. Leslie's finished her PT session. How did that go, darling? Good. Yeah, James is still doing his assignment. So what we're going to do now is me and Leslie and Easton are going to go down for a walk down the beach. Uh, hopefully it's not too windy this time. Uh, James is carrying with his assignment. When we come back, we'll take James down to see the, the gun turrets and uh, obviously have a look at all the historic, historical stuff for uh, the war. So, um. We're going to spend the rest of the day here doing that and then tomorrow, I think we're probably going to stay here again, aren't we? Uh, have a look around. We to go to Dunkirk, didn't we? Yeah, we'll probably, I think we'll probably catch the bus into Dunkirk. I had a look at the bus stop earlier with the uh, bus times and stuff. So maybe catch the bus to Dunkirk. Uh, go to the main centre of, uh, I don't know if Graveline or Graveline. 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 Okay, ha ha. So, that's <laughs> 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 Graveline. Um, and um, have a look around there. So we're going to end the video now. So thank you very much for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you haven't, please like, subscribe and comment. And well, I have noticed a few people put a thumbs down, which is fine. You know, uh, I know. but it's absolutely fine because of people's opinions. Um, but what I would say, if you do put a thumbs down, please put a comment as well as to why it's a thumbs down so we can learn from it and build from it you know, initially we only started these videos for grandparents and friends to keep up with what we were doing uh, also for the kids to have kind of documented video of you know things that were going on so they can look back in the future but it turned into um, really enjoying it doing it for everybody else that was subscribing so we do we do want to improve we've never done this kind of thing before so if you put in a thumbs down put a comment as to why so we can learn from it. But thank you to everybody for the thumbs up. Bye.